Everybody knows that the thyroid regulates your metabolism. So when the thyroid gets out of balance, it can be one big problem. And in today's video, we're going to talk about two reasons why the thyroid gets out of balance. And I'll give you three tips uh, to know for sure if your thyroid is in balance or not. We're going to keep it simple, but we're going to look at some lab values. All right. So let's check it out. Hello, hello. I'm Dr. Dave McCann, chiropractor and stress hacker. It's time for another installment of For Your Further Information. F-Y-F-I, for your further information, in case you didn't hear me the first time. Where I answer your frequently asked questions from a different perspective. Let's go. The thyroid runs off of iodine and it basically regulates the function of every other organ in the body. And by the end of this short little video, um, I think you're probably going to have a better understanding of how the thyroid works and what you should be looking for than a lot of doctors, unfortunately. The thyroid is part of an important hormonal communication system that runs between the hypothalamus and the pituitary in the brain and the thyroid, which is right here in the body. The pituitary in the brain makes TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone, which goes to the thyroid and tells the thyroid what to do. So here's tip number one, TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone is not a thyroid hormone. I'll tell you a little bit more about what I mean here in just a second. So TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone comes from the pituitary, goes to the thyroid and tells the thyroid to make T4 and T3. So here's tip number two. If you've had an annual physical and all they looked at was TSH, that does not constitute a comprehensive evaluation of thyroid function. I'm going to put up um, uh, the half dozen or so other lab markers that you probably should be looking at. And we're going to talk about some of the key components right now. Okay. The lab normal for TSH is 0 0.45 to 4.5. I've seen it as high as 5.0 um, on some labs. And ideally, we want to see that number between 1.8 and 3.0. Now, I've also done um, another video um, where I talked about what I mean when I'm uh, uh, discussing um, ideal markers, and I'll put a link to that in the uh, comment section down below. Free T4, the lab normal for free T4 is 0 0.82 to 1.77. And ideally, we want to see that number between 1.0 and 1.5. Free T3, the lab normal for that is 2.0 to 4.4. We want to see that between 3 and 4. So what happens is T4 gets converted into T3, which is the active form that the body uses in the gut and in the liver. Then T3 goes everywhere and it does everything, including setting the body's metabolic rate. Um, it impacts immune system function. It improves brain function, heart health, glucose metabolism, and bone health as well. Then T3 and T4 feedback from the body to the brain and the whole thing starts again. All right, let's talk about the two reasons why the thyroid gets out of balance. Well, the number one reason is stress. You know what? It doesn't do anybody any good to say, you need less stress in your life. Well, who doesn't? You need less stress. I need less stress. For God's sake, the Pope needs less stress. I'm sure the Pope needs less stress. But anyway, there are two types of stress, right? There's external stressors. We call that life. Not a whole lot we can do about that. But there's also internal stressors. And maybe if we can figure out what the source of those internal stressors are, maybe we can do something about it. Well, we do know that in the body, stress leads to 
inflammation, and inflammation is the number two reason why the thyroid gets out of balance. Primary causes of internal stress, problems with the gut. When the gut gets inflamed, it contributes to increased load on the liver or stress on the liver or increased liver toxicity. If the gut is out of balance and the liver is out of balance, which is where that T4 gets converted into T3, then that's going to throw the thyroid out of balance. Okay, let's go back to the labs for just a second because here's tip number three. One of the primary reasons for a thyroid uh, dysfunction is an autoimmune issue. Um, and there are three antibody tests that we can look at um, to evaluate uh, to see if there's an autoimmune problem. But you know what? They never get tested until the other markers get so far out of balance that it's already too late by that time. Studies have shown that um, you can have these antibodies building up in your system seven to 10 years in advance of a problem bad enough that they go, oh, maybe we should look and see if this is a problem. All right, so we've got TPO, which stands for um, thyroid peroxidase. That number should be less than 34. I've seen it as high as 60 on some labs, but um, most everybody says it should be less than 34. There's also anti-TG or anti thyroglobulin antibody, that number should be less than 0 0.9. Both of those are for um, autoimmune hypothyroid or Hashimoto's. Um, and then there's also TSI or thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin. Um, and that's for Graves disease, which is a hyper autoimmune problem. That number should be less than um, 0 0.55. So there you have it. Fix the gut, support the liver, and you restore balance to the thyroid. And then, you know what? When we relieve the internal stressors, we eliminate the sources of inflammation, all of a sudden, the external stressors just don't seem that bad because things are functioning just a little bit better. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please share it with somebody that you care about. Um, if you got any questions about thyroid or any other labs, um, leave me a question in the comment section down below or shoot me an email to info at drdavemccann.com. All right? Cheers.